So as a Christian, you need to watch your words. Welcome to today's DDRX. I have guests in the studio this week. Uh, every day they'll be asking questions uh, regarding the topic on causes. We're still talking on say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. Welcome to you. So the question that I have for you today, are there any precursors to curses? Yes. Precursor means a forerunner, something that comes before or precedes another thing. So before actual cursing takes place, negative words or words of death must be spoken or pronounced. Uh, clamor and evil speaking against other Christians, Ephesians 4.31 or Titus 3.2 or 1 Peter 3.10. Uh, we also talk about backbiting by Christians in Psalm 15, verse 3. Uh, slander against your brother in Psalm 50, verse 20. Uh, debate of verbal contention, backbiting, whispering, swellings or gossip, or tumult among Christians in 2 Corinthians 12, 20. Uh, the Bible also talks about vain talkers, babblers, lying lips, tear bearers, busybodies, hypocrites, false accusers, and false witnesses. All these are precursors. We call them verbal saints, and they set the stage for cursing. So as a Christian, you need to watch your words. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it, the Bible says we eat the fruit uh, in Proverbs 18, 21. So our tongue has the potential to do great things for God or great things for the devil. The tongue can release blessing or it can release cursing. You know, the tongue can release God or it can release the devil. The tongue can release good or it can release evil. The tongue can release life or it can release death healing or it can release art so the tongue can release angels which are the messengers of blessings or demons the messengers of cursing uh, so what i'm trying to say is that all these evil words are the precursors uh, for cursing but i want us to say a blessing today based on revelation 22 verse 3 and there shall be no more curse but the throne of god and of the lamb shall be in it and his servant shall serve him. Now that's what happened in heaven. There's no cost in heaven. So you too can have heaven on earth, you know, by using your tongue to bless rather than to curse. Thank you.